Welcome to Weekly Leo News, bringing you Guild Wars 2 news every Saturday. Today we will be covering certain item links that makes character preview model new. Just who really is Lady Casimir? Are we net trying to maintain promises of a graphically beautiful game? Sneak peeks on future armor sets. Players complaining Savari armor looks like the 18th century party dress. And I will be covering much more. Stay tuned. First things first, we're going to be covering the best event tool. The Terrorist has provided us this brand new event tool that is probably considered the best. And it's called the Lazy Event Viewer. And currently, you can check any event, like I mean any event in the world of Guild Wars 2 or Terria, and you can search any server, any zone. There's many new features. There's an auto refresh that refreshes the events periodically. There are filters, so you can check whatever you want. You can check active events. You can check events that already failed or were successful. You can check up the warmups, control even the types of events, so you can get like the world events, or you can even get the dragon events. So be sure to check this out. It's, it's fantastic. It's called the Lazy event viewer in my opinion it's probably the best event tool that has been released to this day so thanks to the terrorists now this has been the hot topic for the past few days now there currently is a little glitch where you can link the jester outfit unfinished into the game and it shows your character nude in the preview model now not to worry guys it's all censored so don't worry about it for parents or guardians although it does show some explicit stuff so be careful be sure to check the description in the video below there will be the jester outfit link in the bottom along with all the other sources of the news and what you're gonna have to do with the link of the jester outfit all you have to do is copy and paste it in your guild wars 2 chat and just right click whatever pops up and click preview in addition this is not going to work for humans because the developers have finished the jester outfit on the humans so you guys locked out <laughs> Better luck the next time guys. There has been leaks on new armor models provided by The Shaman and it's going to be more sky base oriented so what I mean by that is it's probably going to be event allowing us to explore the sky or pilot something I guess because when you look at the armor model there's goggles and it just looks like a pilot cap along with the clothing. Now there hasn't been any to be announced date for this so it can take some time for these armor models to be released. And the cool thing that The Shaman did was he rendered a 3D picture so we're able to see this preview and what he did was he tried to combine the models together to form a certain outfit and it looks rather good. Arena has been lenient this week and they have re-released the limited time baby minis and the three minis are the lion, the moa, and the black bear. In conjunction with this release they have lowered the prices of the black lion chest by 20% so for all you guys that love opening chests and wasting your money be my guess. <laughs> Keep in mind the final phase of the living story secret of south sun is approaching quickly on May May 28th. So be sure to stack up your gems because there have been huge rumors that they're going to release the Consortium Harvesting Sickle during that time. And essentially what that is, is just like the, the Molten Alliance Mining Pick. It has unlimited uses and there's sure to be a special animation along with the sickle. Now this may be old news, but ArenaNet has been keeping their promise on trying to make the game look as beautiful and graphically amazing as possible. So they're still leaving the form and thread open to new posts or complaints on clippings on items. And as you can see here, there's new posts on people showing their clippings and just a response. It's This is a beautiful company and I'm sure this game is going to go far. Now you guys may be wondering what clipping is. Basically it's just when in game, when you look at your character, some armor pieces may be poking over the weapon or stuff may be overlapping and that's essentially what clipping is and you may see like different different textures not going fluently and there's just a huge line segregating the two and it really looks distinct. In conjunction with this bug there has been lots of complaints in particular to male Savaris and their armor skin and essentially what they're saying is the bottom piece looks like a freaking dress so it puffs out and it's irregular to the character it looks disproportionate so let's see the future response of the arena net team so who just is lady casimir you guys may be all wondering well scott mcgow narrative designer of the arena net team says lady casimir is a brand new character who is making her extended cameo debut in the secret of south sun we will see more of her in future releases or i should say we'll spend more time with her but see less of her as she won't always be wearing her beach gear pun intended <laughs> scott mcgow in his humor <laughs> that was pretty funny but yeah anyhow i'm really 
really looking forward to Casimir's character and how she's going to develop in this living story. And essentially on the 28th, this is where all the story just really reaches its climax. Let's just hope for the best. Let's hope this patch is going to be awesome. Hey guys, this is Leo Guild Wars and this is the first episode for the weekly Leo news. So just tell me what you guys think, post it in the comments below or, you know, just send me a message. I love critiques and yeah, just tell me how I did. And if you guys would watch another episode, I will be posting another one if this was successful. <laughs> Alright, Leo Guild Wars over now.